So I need more FPS in my gaming, but I can't get my hands on a graphics card at a reasonable price. So what's the next best thing? More RGB. What's up everybody, it's PJ the Great. I hope you're having a super beautiful day. And today I have an interesting product here. This is from a company called Vitru and this is a display panel for PC case. Never even heard of anything like this before, but I thought it was pretty cool. So why not pick it up? Now this is a Capcom version of it. I'm not sure if there's other versions, but this is for Street Fighter. Am I a Street Fighter fan? Nope, never even played the game before. I don't even know when it came out. I think it was popular at the same time that Tekken and Dead or Alive and what was that other one that was kind of like Tekken? I was more so into those games, never played a single game of Street Fighter. So why did I get this? Well, it wasn't just for the channel. I got it to spruce up Baby Blue 2.0 because this version is supposedly she's a character on Street Fighter, but it kind of matches the Baby Blue 2.0 theme because I have a lot of anime stickers on Baby Blue 2.0 and they pretty much are all wearing blue. So this chick is wearing blue, so decided to pick it up. It's kind of weird because I wasn't even in the market for this. I was just messing around on eBay one day and came across it. It's actually sold by Newegg, so you can go straight to Newegg's site and pick it up. It regularly goes for $30 at the time of filming this video, but I picked it up for $19.99. So I figured, why not? Let's try it out. What's the worst that could happen for $19.99? So some of the specs here says LED, cool, white, monochrome, 2K, full HD image. It's eco-friendly with energy, multi-mode function, and custom made. So, and they have two different types. You can get the vertical kind, which is what I picked up, or you can get the kind that goes horizontal to put it at the bottom of your case. This, of course, is the vertical one. So, without further ado, let's add some more FPS to my system since I can't get a graphics card at a reasonable price. Almost dropped it. Let's show you what's in the box. Up close and personal with the Vitru display panel for PC case. Street Fighter Edition. That's the version I got. Matches well with Baby Blue 2.0. Let's open the box. Get your little stickies. Just stick it in the case. Now there's two ways that you can hook this up. You can hook it up to straight Molex and just have it display one color mode. Or this is kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Or you can do the Molex to SATA and then control it with this controller control the lights so you cannot hook this up to your motherboard which is a shame so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna hook this up inside of my PC and still have access to this so you got that there let's look at the panel itself see how big it is I didn't do any measurements, I just assumed that this was going to work. There's the panel itself. Goes right inside your PC. You put the stickies on the back here. There's some crap on her face right here. I think this yeah, this yeah that peels off. So there it is. Now the installation process was pretty straightforward with this. Uh, the one PETA that I say that I came across is the sticky tape that you use to mount this in your case. Whatever sticky tape they provided is crap. 
I don't know if it's just bad sticky tape or this product is so old that the sticky tape went bad so I had to use my own. Luckily I had my own on hand. So let's show you some of that process. So what are my closing thoughts on this V-True display panel for PC case? This is the Street Fighter version. Uh, is it worth $20? I would say, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty cool addition uh, cosmetically for your PC. So if you're in the Street Fighter, you can go on the new egg and check it out. I'm pretty sure, well, I'm not pretty sure. Um, I have to look and see if they have any other things outside of Street Fighter. Like I said, I don't play Street Fighter. I just picked it up because of the, the image. It matches my theme. One thing that really ticked me off with this is that you have two ways to hook it up. You can hook it up to a straight Molex and then just get a solid, you know, color. Or you can hook it up via this adapter that has Molex to SATA and it has buttons on it where you can switch the like the modes, it says multi-mode function. Mine doesn't work. I mean, I hit every button on there and it does nothing but stays static. So I don't know if I got a defective one, probably did. Am I gonna return it? No, because I went through all the trouble of mounting it and wiring it and everything. And you can't hook it up to your motherboard. Your motherboard can't control it. So. I think it's for the best for me at least that it stays a solid, you know, solid tone and then I could change the colors in my case via my motherboard with the other lights that I got going on in there. So not really a big deal, but it is a little bit upsetting knowing that it has multi-mode function and it doesn't even work. I could have just hooked this thing up straight by Molex. So if you're interested in picking this up, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And you want to know what else? Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor and give it a big old thumbs up. But if you hated it, you can give it a thumbs down. But no matter what you do, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it. So you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And until I see you in the next video, probably going to go and get some gaming in because, you know, I feel like this added probably about 10, maybe 15 frames per second to all my games. This is PJ the Great saying Audi 5000G. Full disclaimer, this is an ongoing joke. Everybody knows RGB doesn't add frames per second. Placebo effect maybe. Oh, 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 oh.